very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome to this new video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking um, every week and every month actually we are sharing here on this channel uh, videos of me analyzing the market and also some videos where I'm doing some live trades right front of you now I think it's now better time to actually make a video explaining more about support and resistance um, I think it's pointless actually to do some live trades and showing you that or saying front of you that okay here we have a strong support level or a strong resistance level without explaining why did I see it as a strong support and resistance level so what actually make these support and resistance levels strong this is what we will know now right in this video Alright, so before we proceed with this topic, it's very important that we should agree on one thing here, that the support and the resistance levels, they are permanently there. Uh, when you see any support or resistance levels appeared, you have to be sure that this level is just not randomly placed there, especially when it is a strong support and resistance levels, which, which I will explain later how do we know that it is a strong or uh, not strong support resistance level. Now. The thing is we need to agree on again is identifying the support and resistance levels are permanent levels uh, I have explained this many times in the videos on my channel uh, but I'm very sure that some of the new subscribers and I think even the new subscribers they haven't seen all the videos and that's why it's very important that we should mention this before we proceed the, with this video because it's one of the very or actually the most important uh, aspects uh, in this video here so right now I'm on the Euro USD, uh, I'm on the 4 hour chart and I'm going to switch to the monthly chart. Right now guys, this is the monthly chart we're talking about. Uh, let me just select any support or resistance level randomly from the past. I'm going to select actually uh, this level right here. So let me just draw the line on it, like that. So my, sub my resistance line has been drawn right on this support level, as you can see it right here. And let's just see something here. This level, which I selected, it was also in the past a strong support. And guys, this is almost uh, October 1996. My God, I was 10 years old that day. So we can see that this level, which was a support level in 1996, has become later a resistance level and it was actually quite a strong level because we can see that the rejection happened here and the price went way down before it actually reversed on the support level however later on this resistance level which has been for being performed in 1998 has kept its position as a resistance in 2004 then later on in 2005 it kept the position as a resistance then finally in 2006 it has become a support and it kept its position as a support for more than 10 years actually um, until 2014 has been finally broken out from this level of the support so imagine that this resistance has become a support and again a support and again a support has been finally breaking out then later on to the modern days in 2017 this support level actually in no, 2018 this support has become right now the new resistance so what's the deal here the deal here is this support and resistance level you are seeing in the market they are always permanently there they are just printed in the chart and <coughs> when you see the support or resistance performed you have to be sure that this level was also in the past a strong support or resistance now that is one part that we has we have finished and now we now we know that these levels are permanent now what is the thing identifying the support or resistance to be strong or weak uh, let me just uh, agree on the term 
or let's go to this part later. Now, when you see this resistance level, and you see this resistance level as well. Now, these are both resistance levels. Let me just uh, zoom in, guys, so we can see it clear. All right. So, when you see this resistance level, and we have here also a resistance level, and by the way, we have also here a resistance level. If I ask you, which one of these you consider as the strongest level? Of course, you are going to point right on this level. Nobody, I think, will point on these two here. Why? Because these two, they are just a pullbacks. These two here, they are just uh, reassembling a pullback on the market. When the market went up here, it just continued to fall more down. Then the market went up here and again um, made a pullback and again continued to go more up until it hit this, resi this resistance level. Once the market hit this resistance level, it just made a continuation of going down and it just keeps sinking and changing the whole direction. That is what we call here. key resistance that is what we call guys a key resistance because this level was very strong and there was no rejection on this level sorry no rejection on this level <laughs> sorry the rejection was very strong on this level there was no breakout on this level and the market could not even couldn't couldn't even go for each not even one pip beyond this level look at that let's again draw the line so the market has reached the same level or the very same level of this previous support level here. Once the market, once the market reached this level, it could not even perform a single candle to break out from this level and immediately started to fall more down. Meaning the rejection of breaking out from this resistance was quite strong. That is what leads us to identifying the key support and resistance level. So what are they? They are simply the levels where the price has been rejected as we can see right here uh, rejected to be breaking out and changing the whole trend direction so in this way here the trend was actually going up until it hit this resistance level the key resistance level and then once it once this happened the whole trend direction changed so it's not just a pullback here right now just not like a pullback here here, when we, what we can see here that the market, when it hit, when it hit this resistance level, it's just going more down and going up again. This one here also, it just may go down and again continue to go more up. This one is different because once the market touched this level, it just continued to fall more down. There's no more upper momentum here. Right now, it's a bearish momentum and the market has changed the whole direction. That is what we are talking about. So, if we want to look in the past, where where is now the support uh, the support the, the key support it is simply right here and right here and right here and here again if you want to find the key support and the resistance levels they are simply identified as the levels where the whole market changed the direction of the trend level like the example here so the trend direction has been changed and the bounce was strong. Now, it's very important actually to mention that these things cannot be identified unless it's in the past because you need to rely on them. You cannot ask me where is the next key support resistance level is going to approach or going to appear. That is something we cannot know for sure. We have to wait for it to happen and then we are going to rely on it to find another support or resistance levels. Uh, let me just explain to you. Again, this level, let me just delete this one. Guys, please focus. Don't, don't skip this one. It's very important to understand. Now, what we can see here, that we had a very strong key resistance level. All right. Now, the question is, is this level going to, to perform another key resistance in the, uh, in the future? The answer is no. This level is not necessarily gonna perform another strong resistance level it's just going to create another resistance such as this one here so this level has been performed as a resistance and we identify that level uh, that we can with that we can look for a strong reversal right here even in the in, later in the future on 
we can see that it has become also another resistance however it was not a strong uh, resistance level the thing is these key and support resist uh, the key and support and resistance levels they can actually be used in the day today's trading they always been performed in the past and we have to rely on them to know the strong level and where we should actually place our trades later okay so actually i think it's enough with the monthly chart let's go now to actually to what we are going to do actually on the four hour chart now on the four hour chart it's actually exactly the very same thing now let me just delete that okay so right now if i want to see this chart actually you know something let me go to the past randomly i'm just going randomly in the past i don't know if you are um I'm, se uh, I'm selecting any any chart randomly I don't know when I will stop okay randomly now let's go even more to the past again guys randomly poof stop okay now let's see what we are seeing what we can see right here on the four hour chart on the cat JPY we can see that we had here a pullbacks and the market continued to go more up it's just like a stairs climbing the the market all the way until we see something different right here this right here identifying that this uh, bullish momentum has been completely changed and now it's a downtrend meaning this level can be treated as a key resistance now what we need to do is go now to the, in the future and wait for the right moment to place another trade right here that is a good example now we can see that we had here the reversal as I as I told you uh, just now this key resistance level is not actually going to keep its position as a strong resistance level again it's not gonna be another uh, key resistance this key resistance is telling you that we have here a strong level that can be act as a support or resistance now let's see how many pips that could have given us almost 41 pips then later on the very same level has become another support it was actually a key support because we can see that we had a, uh, a bearish trend which has later become a, a bullish uh, trend because the rejection was very strong on this level and the whole trend direction changed later on the very same level also we can see that we had a downtrend here once the market reaches level it just changed the whole direction and now it's going on uptrend so what should we do here actually we always have to be careful when we, when we are trading the, the key support and resistance levels because as I mentioned they are going to be permanent however you cannot expect them to be again another key or support resistance look at that I'm just going in the future more and more uh, now in uh, May 4, May 4 and we can see it, it was also a resistance level a resistance a resistance has been breaking out again as a support here and so on no matter how far you go in the future or in the past you will see it still there I'm going right now more in the future uh, okay we have reached this level when the market did not even reach uh, that resistance level I selected all right let me select now something else randomly and I'm going to select right uh, this one right here so this support level we can see that it kept acting as a support even in December and we can see that it was also a resistance right here and right here and also performed as a support right here let's see more in the future I think this is not uh, this uh, obviously this is uh, which year is that uh, okay let's just uh, skip this part we'll go back to the four hour chart I don't want to uh, confuse you all right let's continue checking look at that this level is kept its position as a support right here even in the future also it kept its position as a support resistance 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 so we can see look at that support level right here support level right here support so the idea that I'm trying to, to tell you here is if, if you draw these lines you can actually find even the modern support and resistance levels now 
let me just tell you the trick here the, the thing that I'm trying to reach uh, in this video what I'm trying to explain to you in this video right now the current price is on 83.717 now what you need to do is look in the past and find the nearest key support resistance levels and draw your line on it waiting for the market to actually reverse now if I look in the past I can see that near to the current price 83.724 we are having right here this key support level good now let's go back to the current day and we can see that right here we had the very same level so this is the very same level of the key support I selected and the market is now breaking it now we have two options to do number one is wait another uh, retest of this level and here we can place the buy order which happened already you can see it happened already by this candle right here it already went down retesting this level and then continue to go more up now where can I expect the next reversal let's go back let's try to find another key re resistance or support so I'm trying to find something else uh, what we need to find is a, uh, a key resistance where the market has completely changed direction and it is actually exactly right here look at that it is exactly where the price is right now check it out guys this level here we can see that the market has reversed and we can see now the market is already reversing it's almost touching this level just two pips away and I'm sure this level now is going to perform to be another key resistance you know something I'm thinking to place a thread here just to prove to you how strong my strategy is and let me just be sure before I do that just be sure that we are going to expect a reversal right on this very same level check, check, out, check it out on daily candles we can see this very same, same level the resistance this is the key resistance my friends let's check in the past and we can see oh my god my goodness right here also it was also another key resistance level the very same level where the price is right uh, is on right now so without further ado I'm going to place let me just uh, make it a small lot 15 place another sell order let me show you what will gonna happen after placing this sell order uh, what we can expect from this level and I'm going to actually set my take profit to be the nearest uh, support or resistance which is right here because this is the nearest support uh, that is good life trade uh, during this explanation it is going to prove that what I'm ex explaining to you right here in this video is actually valuable and it does work uh, better let me now pause this video before we continue in the explanation about support and resistance so I will pause this video right now and I'll be back to you to show you later what will gonna happen with this trade okay so I have been thinking that this trade actually might take some time to finish and let's better continue explaining explaining more about support and resistance and by the end of the video I'm going to show you what will gonna happen with this trade however I just want to show you at the very same level where I placed my sell order check it out how many reversals you had here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 reversal uh, reversals as a resistance and it just continued to go to go more 11 12 13 14 16 uh, as a support 17 18 19 20 so always we had a reversal on this uh, resistance level and it is uh, identified as a key resistance now I hope by that you have a good idea now about identifying some key support and resistance levels however there is also another way if you want to be sure that you have spotted the strong uh, key support and resistance levels one second sorry about that okay uh, let me just uh, switch to another pair so I can explain to you in brief how we can identify the strong support uh, and resistance levels uh, one of the tricks you can do actually um, is drawing a trend lines and these trend lines 
will be showing you the strong support and the resistance levels so right now we have a trend right here and I'm going to draw the trend line like that and then I'm going to clone it to create the channel like that so right now we have this channel oh alright it's not really what I want actually uh, let me just change it no need to clone it then let's draw it like that alright that should be fine okay now these levels you are seeing right in front of you that is touching the trend lines these are actually the key support and the resistance you are looking for that is one trick actually to identify them because we can see once the trend line has sorry once the candles has touched this trend line it changed the whole direction and right now it's changed from upward to be downward so it, it is now a downtrend this one also here going all the way up creating this uh, uh, bullish uh, trend and now it's uh, become a, uh, a bearish trend so we can see the same actually happened right here so we can see the trend was going down and once it, st it touched this uh, support trend line it just continued bouncing up so that is that is one way to identify the key support and the resistance levels because let me just uh, prove it to you again in the past on daily candles okay let me just I think we better change the chart it's not really what we want uh, let's go to the weekly candles and allow me to draw a, a, cha a channel here um, I need something more clear actually that is not good that is not really helping let me try it here so now on the pound USD I'm going to draw uh, my goodness <laughs> it's not happening a trend line like that so this is uh, representing a channel of the trend lines like that What's happening here all right okay like that so what we have here is a channel of this trend line and these are this le these levels that is touching actually the trend lines they are representing to you the strong uh, and key support and resistance levels now you can simply draw your horizontal line right on them like that and let's draw another line like that on the top of these uh, candles which are touching that trend line levels and we can draw also one here right on this support because it is part of this trend line right here this one and the next one we are going to draw is touching the support level at the bottom right here now let's see in the future what happened with these levels let me just erase this trend line here so it will not confuse you guys now look at look at check it out so this resistance level has become also a resistance on the very same level this one also has become a strong resistance later in the future which was also by the way look at that a strong support level good let's continue that let's go more in the future look at that the the first one has become right here another support level has been broken out and became a strong sub, uh, resistance level even the the next one here uh, the one was below it it also became here a strong res not a strong yeah it became a strong resistance right here we can see this week here let me just uh, zoom in so you can see it I know you can, maybe you cannot see it actually so we can see it right here it has became a resistance and here also it became a resistance and right here and right here and also right here so this actually created for us a strong resistance zone we can see the reversal happened again right here and right here that's good so that is again one trick so it can show you how to identify the key support and resistance levels by drawing a trend line and the, and just the draw a horizontal lines on the candles that is touching the trend lines uh, as a support trend line or resistance trend line the last one is this one here let's see what happened in the in the future it became also a resistance right here and right here and here and let's uh, see it in the future also right here it became a support and right here it became a support 
right here as well we can see it continue we can see again the very same level became a support then another resistance level until today I think yeah until today the market did not reach yet this level which I'm sure we are going to witness another reversal so again I have to explain if you want for example to find currently what is currently now okay it is good it is cool that we're explaining all of these things about support and resistance but again how can I use that on my day trading seller how can I use this for my uh, trades when I'm just trying to find the correct level to enter my trade or not the answer is simple look at the current price where is it right now it is on 1.30946 right now so we need to draw a trend line that explain to us where is the strongest support and resistance keys uh, levels uh, let me draw a trend line for example um, like this like that this is a key this is a, a, a uh, so <laughs> sorry this is a support trend line this is right here is a support trend line and what we will do next is drawing a horizontal lines on the levels where the candles are touching this level meaning I'm going to, to draw a horizontal line right here and right here and right here because again these are the levels where they are actually touching the trend line like that be more accurate exactly like this and another one just like that because here where it is touching actually the trend line we can see right now the market is approaching this level it is right on it this level which was acting as a strong resistance in the past so a strong support in the past right now the price is on it good remember we are on the weekly candles let's go to the four hour chart right now we can see that the reversal has already happened on this level guys believe me what I'm teaching you here is gold this is very very important you can see that the reversal happened right here and as I'm always mentioning aim for the attempt number one always attempt number one of the support or resistance is the strongest uh, um, is the best trade you can enter we can see here at the, the very first time the market has reached this level remember I was analyzing on weekly candles going back to the four hour chart we can see that we had a really good trade to enter so this level was actually strong as a resistance and we can see the reversal happened exactly right on it and if, it, if you exit your trade at the nearest support following my strategy we could look have we could look for almost 81 pips of profit now can I enter the next attempt maybe it's not really that recommended always I'm saying to you in my videos attempt number the first attempt attempt number one is better than sec the second attempt so please guys I want you everyone to practice this one uh, okay okay all right all right all right let's go to another example I know let's go to another example uh, let's try to find the best levels to place the trade all right uh, I just need to find a better uh, chart so I can show you right now we're on daily candle oh by the way okay let me just increase this one all right uh, let me just try to find okay maybe this one mm. oh that's good actually let's see here no <laughs> sorry I just want to find the best chart that we can explain uh, about the trend lines okay now on the euro and ZD uh, as I mentioned to you we need to find now the strong support and resistance levels and by the way we can uh, again we can uh, use the trend lines th so you can draw the channel on the trend lines one second what we need to do right now is drawing uh, a channel and identify the key support and resistance levels uh, I'm trying to find actually a good way to draw it here but I cannot find to be honest with you I, I was thinking like that however the market just kept going below this level uh, we can see the reversal happened right here and right here as well however uh, there is no currently good level that we can show you uh, a good uh, entry based on trend lines look let's check this one out so right here I'm going to draw the trend line channel as I mentioned to you like that like this 
so here we have a, 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 a trend line channel if I clone it I can make it like that as simply as that all right now let's draw a horizontal line on the top of these resistance and support which is actually touching the trend line so the nearest one to the current price 0 0.87645 uh, is actually this one right here so this one here because it's touching the resistance trend line it is actually the best level to place my sell order I have to wait for the candle to reach all the way up here and then it's going to give me a good sell order that is actually by the way what we are going to see on the next uh, analysis videos when I'm actually going to do one video for one for each pair I'm going to go uh, more deep in explanation explanation and more analysis deep analysis deep analysis and this is what you are going to see that's why I decided that today I have to make uh, this video to explain to you what you are going to see in the next videos so again uh, this uh, horizontal, trend line, horizontal trend line horizontal uh, resistance line I'm sorry guys I'm sorry but I don't know what's happening to me today uh, let me just continue that like that drawing the horizontal line on the resistance uh, levels which is touching the resistance trend line continue like that and right here what where else we can we have here another one and we have also right here another one now let's check what happened later what happened this level where I mentioned that it is touching the resistance trend line it also became another resistance uh, this one also we have to wait for it um, this one here look at that check it out check what happened later if you did that as I'm doing as I'm saying we can see this re uh, this support level has become a strong support a uh, strong resistance level and it kept its position as another resistance that is look at that check it out the very same level guys where I draw my trend line in a way touching the candles and touching the res the support trend line when I draw the support line uh, in horizontal line we can see here it was also another resistance actually I don't know what's happening to me I'm not feeling well um, I just wanted to show you this uh, guys to explain to you more about support and resistance don't worry you will get to know more about them when you are seeing the weekly analysis videos you will get to use uh, you will get used how to actually identify them uh, in the meantime I have now to pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with this trade and hopefully it's going to be in profit now let me pause this video and I'll be back to you once th uh, this trade is finished so my friends as you can see the candle is reversing indeed uh, the problem is right now it is 12 30 uh, 23 a.m. here in Dubai time and the market is about to close so I have to close this trade right now but in the end I just hope that this has proven to you that what I'm talking about about support and resistance is indeed very powerful and it does work however you will see me doing a lot of these kind of trades and analysis uh, analysis uh, sorry of an, an, and analysis in the future videos so I hope by watching this you will be able to understand more about support and resistance and it will help you indeed to find the best support and resistance entry levels that you can find on the chart however in the end I hope that was video, this video was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching